Okay, so welcome to our pool coaching school with Gareth Potts. Uh, these are our lucky Facebook winners that have come along to come and enjoy a, a good afternoon session with Gareth. So Gareth, I'm going to hand over to you. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Okay. Right. So if I can just have a look at you all playing a shot first. So do you want to play play the shot first if you're going to pot the black so I can have a look at okay. see now before before you before you play the shot if I can if I can just show you that, that I don't know if you've ever have you, have you ever done any coaching before or never done nothing well the way that you're standing you see is you're standing completely sideways on right so if we go through the stance first just to just to try and get everyone sort of at least standing in, in, a, in the correct way so if you can see your feet you're standing like this this is how you are so you're playing the shot like this and your balance is is, is going to be not where it should be because your feet are basically one behind the other the way you need to be is you need to need to be a lot more square onto right. the table okay so it should be a little bit easier because you're left-handed so yeah. the way to do it is if you if you, your lead leg which is going to be your left leg right. that leg that leg should be locked when you play the shot so right. your knee you know you know you do that your knee yeah. obviously locks back in then the other leg is going to be bent which right. which makes you stable on the shot then because then there's going to be no movement when you're on the shot right. so if you put your first if you just if you just step to the side a little bit if you just watch so if i put me if i put my first leg there yeah. and then i walk into the shot with this leg yeah so i walk in put the foot there lock the leg back and this this is roughly the stance so the the right leg slightly further forward than the left the left leg locked and now I'm in position here, look, but then I'm, I'm, I'm rigid, I'm not moving, and I'm square on to where I'm playing the shot. Right. Yeah. It might take a little bit of getting used to, and you might feel a little bit awkward to start with, but if you can square your body up a little bit, you'll definitely. Right. So if you want to have a go and square up a little bit, so if you put, put, your, first, put your foot there, yeah, and then with this leg, you're going to walk it. It'll take you a while to get used to the distance from a table because you'll first do it and you'll think, oh, I'm a little bit too close and then maybe just get back up and just move it back a little bit until you, you get the right distance away. So you put your first leg there yeah. and then and then you step into the shot and that's how, so, see, that, that that's it. Yeah, roughly like that. So you used to stand like this. Yeah. So basically all you need to do is just bring that leg back a little bit and that one forward a little bit. Right. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that leg, that's it, roughly like that. Now, I think you're a little bit too close there, so may, maybe just come back from the table a little bit. It does feel good, it? Yeah, it does, yeah. You see, you can widen the stance a little bit. See, you, you used to be like this. Yeah. So you just want to bring that leg round and bring that one back a little bit. That's it, roughly like that. If you, now you're a bit too far away. That's better. Shot. It will feel awkward to yeah. start with, but it'll definitely make you more, because you see, when you were standing like this, it's like you're playing the shot that way. Right, yeah. The, my legs are facing that way, but you're actually playing the shot this way. Yeah. You see, when you square it, when you, you you square onto the table, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm rigid, so nothing can move. Yeah. When you're sideways on, there's liable for you to yeah, your body to move like this. Well, when you're this way, there's nothing can move. Your left leg's locked. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you if you if I'm down the shot and you push me now, I'm not going to move because I'm yeah I'm just locked in place. It'll take a bit of getting used to, but if you practice getting your legs pretty square, which is roughly like there. Yeah. Sometimes a way to sort of do it is you could put like if you get an old cue and put put a cue across the floor. So as you walk in, you know roughly that your feet yeah. need to be sort of roughly in a straightish line, as opposed to yeah. 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 Someone else can come up and see. You're a little bit. You're a little bit not quite. Um, what was your what was your name again? Sorry, Martin. Martin. You're not quite as bad as Martin was but you're still a little bit side on you you were more like this that leg you just need to bring back a little bit and try and square up so you're gonna you're obviously right-handed so you're gonna lock this leg so you, your right leg is gonna lock in position and then your left leg is gonna be bent that's it that's better there you go see you're a lot straighter on and 
it'll feel better being like that. It'll take a little bit of practice just to pull your leg back a little bit, but because you, you're locked in place, you looked a lot more compact. One thing I did notice as well with you, which we'll go through afterwards is, I don't know if you know, but as you're queuing up, your cue's not touching your chest. Did you, did, do you know that you do that? No. Yeah, your cue, there's a gap between your cue. If you see when I cue up here, my cue is touching the chest, which sort of helps to guide it in a straight line up and down. Your cue, there was a gap. So basically your cue can go anywhere. Right. If you get back down, go back down, I'll show you. See, look, there's a gap there. Yeah. You need to pinch that tighter into your chest there, look. Not, 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 so it, not so it's rigid so you physically can't cue up, but just so it's brushing as a guide against your chest. Yeah? yeah? That feel better? Mm. Yeah? You wanna have a go, mate? Right, hold on, mate. Now, both of your legs are bent and you're a little bit sideways on. Yeah? So you've got both legs like this and you're, and you're sideways on. If you get back down, don't hit the ball, but because look how rigid you are, if I move you, look, see this is this is what can happen when you're on where if that leg's locked like this and you touch me, I can't I can't go anywhere. So what you need to do first is this leg, you need to push your knee back so this leg locks. Try and straighten that foot up a little bit so so the the, the foot is pointing towards the shot, yeah? And then that leg, have it a little bit further forward, this one, but bent, that's it. So that one's locked and that one's bent. That's much better, that's perfect. Perfect. It'll take a bit of getting used to to, to to be like that, but you just have to keep practicing. And like I say, if you if you you can even just put a marker down on the floor just, just until you when you first get down you'll think, oh that feels awkward. Or I don't feel quite right there. Or I feel like you'll almost feel like you're sort of you're not in place, but you need to keep practicing until you naturally get down. So just let me just see you get down again. That's it, that's much. See, you've gone a little bit too extreme there because look, that foot now is behind this foot. You just need to pull that one forward a little, or that one back. That's it, roughly like that. And your hand, you know that obviously as you're queuing up, you, you're queuing up as though you're bridging over a ball all the time. Yeah. You need to put, put, put this, that's it. You need, you need to get your hand flat on the table because you're like this, your hand can move. So as, you, as, you, as you're queuing up, there's, there's room for your hand to move if it slips or drops. But when it's on the table, nothing can move. So make sure you get the palm of your hand touching the table. Okay. Nice. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, all the time. Yeah? See, you, you're, you're, the, see, you're the same. You're, 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 it's like, yeah, that's it. So you want this foot. If you, if, you, if you get that foot sort of almost facing the shot and then that, that, that one to come round and bend in slightly, that's it. That's it, much, now, see, I think you're just a little bit too close. So maybe, maybe just step them both back a little bit, widen the stance a little bit. And, and if you lock that leg back, so that, that, that's locked and you're sort of locked in position. See, you, you're the, do, you, do you always not get down on the shot that far? Do you, do you always stay up a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, the reason, the reason what happened there is you're similar to how um, he was, was your cue's not touching, it's out. So when you play a power shot, the cue can go anywhere. So if you push through, it can go that way, or you push through, it can go that way. But if it's touching, it helps to, to keep it in a straight line. It might feel awkward, but you need to try and get your cue touching your chest. better. So it's more compact, especially when you're hitting it hard because your cues, your chest is a guide. So when you pull it back, you pull it back against your chest and push it through against your chest. If it's there, your arm's just basically like a loose pendulum so it can go side to side or backwards and forwards. If you keep it tucked in, so We've done the stance, we'll now go on to the, the cue action. Do you want to come and have a go? So, if you get back down on the shot out with, with the, with the, you want, you, you yeah, oh, you're left, yeah, so, so you're gonna, you're gonna put, put your left leg where you, where you think it needs to be and then, and then it doesn't move. You're a little bit far away there, you need to go a little bit closer. 
and then just walk in that was good actually your hand was quite a long way away from the white I don't right. know if you realise but you, your hand was here and you see how much cue you've got left over yeah. from, your, from your thumb to the cue ball you need to try and get your hand a little bit closer a little bit closer and then what, you, what needs to happen on the, with, it, with the cue action is as you cue up to the ball there's got to be a pause somewhere so you either pause when the cue gets to the ball or you pause at the top of the backswing right. or you can do both but either way that's where the timing comes so to screw the ball back it's not how hard you hit it it's about it's about the timing it's like you know you see them playing golf you know they don't run at the ball under my eyes and it's not how hard they pull the club back it's what happens and it's the same with this it's not how hard you pull the cue back it's what happens from there to there so there needs to be a pause so if I was queuing up at this I would pause both so leg locked Cue's touching the chest, yeah. Pause, top of the backswing, pause. That gets a reaction on the white. Yeah? And there we go. But you need to try and get your hand a little bit closer to the white because when your hand's so far away from the white, again, there's more room for anything to go wrong as it goes through. If you're a little bit closer, you can, nothing can, well, something can go wrong, but not as much as if it's back here. Right. Yeah. That's it, a little bit, I've put the cue ball a bit further forward here. See what you can do with your left leg is, if you put your left leg in, I think your left leg needs to go a little bit further to the left, so if I was playing this, my left leg would be about there and I would walk in. I mean, you can sort of, you know, when if you don't feel comfortable when you're down, you can sort of, you know, slide into position until you feel a little bit better, but that leg's got to be locked until you find the right position. But you can see, that leg is, I mean, you've started coming over here, so so you can see the yeah. cue is over. You just need to be over a little bit further. Right. So take that left leg a little bit further to the left. That's it. Now, now what what you're doing is you, you you're getting in position and then you're leaning onto that leg. Right. You got you got to lean onto that leg. Yeah. Because you're locking it for a reason, for your body weight to be like holding on the leg that's locked. That's it, and get your hand a little bit close. That's it, that's it. And then you're going to pause on the cue ball and then pause at the back. Swing. That's it. Yeah, so you, you, you cue up, you feather up to the ball, pause. As you pull the cue back, a slight pause at the top. And then, yeah. I feel better. Yeah. Right. So you can see it's just, you got you got just get just get that cue just so just so it's brushing against your chest there. I can see there's a slight gap. You just want it to be not not too tight against your chest, but just so it sort of like holds it straight. And then as you cue up to the ball, you're gonna feather up to the ball as you normally would, and then pause on the ball. Just a slight pause and a slight pause at the top of the backswing. See, it was just, it was all just a little bit sort of like mechanical. It was like, mm, mm, you just, just loosen up a little bit with it and just, you know, just loosen through. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter how, how fast that you queue up to the ball. Because you're going to pause first and then pause at the top of the backswing. So you can, you can just loosen up with your back arm, stop on the white and then come back and pause. But with you, it's just, your stance is pretty good. You know, everything looks, looks pretty sort of as it should be with you, but you, as you're queuing up, you keep leaving a gap. You just make sure that you pull the cue in a little bit to your chest. And you don't want it, and I think the reason why it looked a little bit, like your cue action looked like as though your cue was a bit sticky, it, you know, it was like, and I think that's because you're perhaps pressing it a bit too tight now. It needs to be on your chest, but only sort of as a guide. That's it, the reaction you got on the white there. 
that's just because you, from the pause, the, 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 the spin on the cue ball comes from, the, from pausing at the top or pausing onto the ball. Yeah. Have a go, mate. So check out what happens next in part two. For more coaching videos from Gareth Potts, please visit homeleisuredirect.com forward slash TV.